Hey, what's going on guys? So as you know, it's Best here. Now over the weekend, there have been rumors going rampant about this iPhone Nano that's supposed to be coming out with the iPhone 5 this summer. And the iPhone Nano rumor is nothing really new. I think this, this dates back as far as the iPhone 3G, as far as people talking about this. But the Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg have bought up some, I guess they have solid information that this device is actually going to be coming to fruition here in the summer. Now uh, about the device, of course, it's going to be smaller than the current iPhone. And also it's going to have an edge-to-edge -edge screen, possibly no home button. Also it's going to have no physical storage on the device itself so really no memory at all it's just going to be everything's going to be streamed from the cloud now apple built up some brand new uh, data centers in north carolina very very big data center that as far as we know is not in use yet so this could be a reason why they will probably bring this uh, to this device not only the iphone nano but also other ios devices um, and also you're going to be able to stream your iTunes libraries uh, right over the internet, your music, your videos, all that stuff would be streamed right to the device. And um, and also to set the price point. And, and, and the reason why I haven't been really truly set on believing that Apple would do an iPhone Nano is because the price would have to be just right. If the price isn't just right, if it's only $50 cheaper than the, a full-fledged iPhone, I don't think anybody would get it. Uh, but, but the Wall Street Journal said the price could be as low as $50, which doesn't make sense to me either because... Uh, the current iPod Nano is like $150, you know, so how can you get an iPhone Nano less than that? And how come the current iPod Nano is $150? So that doesn't make sense to me. So I don't think that's a, a, a true price point, but probably $100, $150 on contract may be the right price point that you can probably get this iPhone Nano for. Um, and so, you know, again, it's just... It's one of these rumors that I, I don't see why Apple would do this. It'll be another screen size for app developer, developers who have to worry about making sure the applications fit the screen just nicely. Plus, it's going to be an underpowered device. It's not going to be, there's no way it can be the same power as the iPhone 5. So, again, these games and applications are not going to be able to take truly advantage of that hardware. Plus, if you got big hands, I mean, you're going to have to hold it up with two fingers or something, uh, depending on how small it is. Um, so, I just don't think that anybody's going to get a new cell phone and say, hey, I'm going to re up my two year contract. But... I'm going to save myself $50 by getting the iPhone Nano, which I can't really do that that much with it as far as the same capability as an iPhone 5, then why am I going to get that? So anyway, that's just my thought about these rumors. Again, we'll see here around the June um, time frame and when Apple announces the new iPhone, probably around at WWDC this year. And also leave a comment down below about what you think about these rumors. You think it is true or will you actually get an iPhone Nano if the price is white? Uh, white? What is that? <laughs> if the price is right. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.